Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my April favorites. I'm actually going to be doing something a little bit different with my favorites today. I'm actually going to be adding in some Feo products that I've tried in the past month. So I would love to know if you guys would like to see this in my monthly favorites from now on. Sort of like hits and misses, favorites and fails. There are some products that I just tried this month that I did not like, that did not work out for me. So let me know if you guys would like to see this in future monthly wrap-ups. I don't think I would have failed products every month, but if I do, let me know if you guys would like me to share them. But nonetheless, this month I still got some really, really great favorites that I want to share with you. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and hop into my favorites. So my first favorite of the month comes from e.l.f. Cosmetics. It's their Poreless Putty Primer along with their Putty Primer Applicator Brush. I have been using this product every single time I've been doing my makeup ever since I got it. I think it's the most perfect primer base it really does smooth out your pores and it just gives you a smoother complexion. Usually with primers, I don't really see too much of a difference, but with this primer, I definitely do. The first time I used it, I was so surprised of how effective it was. And the brush applicator is really nice as well. I like how on one end you have the scoop, so you don't have to get your fingers dirty and then you just apply it with the other end with the flat kabuki brush. I think it does a really great job of pressing in the product, but you can obviously use your fingers as well. I don't think the brush is a necessity but I really do think the primer is a really great primer I think it's eight US dollars I believe eight or ten but it's super super affordable and it's so effective you get so much product as well and I just have been really really enjoying this primer I do love the brush but I don't think it's like a must must have but it's super affordable as well so I just got the pair and it works so well together you don't get your hands dirty and I've just been really loving this combo this brush and this primer together I just love it and my next favorite is from Essence it's their all about matte fixing compact powder so I've actually had this product for a little while now. I think I got it back in August last year. And when I got it, I did like it. But I think more recently, I've been just really, really loving it now. I use this to set my face down, use it as a touch-up powder. Because I'm in this room for a very long time, it can get quite hot in here. And I like to look more matte for my videos. I think it just translates a little bit better on camera personally. So I will use this to touch up my makeup um, just when I get oily in my t-zone. But what I've been really loving this product for recently is just using this to set my brow hairs. Um, that sounds really odd. Let me explain. So what I do with this powder, I take it on a big fluffy brush. I will really go in and set the skin underneath my brow hairs. And the reason why I do this is because I realize when I do my brows on my skin that hasn't really been set down well, I notice that my brows can look quite patchy. And when it looks patchy, I sort of panic and then my brows look really, really uneven. My brows are not twins. I wouldn't even say they're sisters. They're probably like cousins. But I feel like when I do set my, my skin down and then apply my brows, I feel like I can get them a little bit more even. You know there's that TikTok trend that's going around, that symmetrical one where you flip it? I'm just like... No, I would never do that. I feel like I would just damage my self-esteem even more because I know I'm really, really not symmetrical at all. This side of my face is actually a lot higher and lifted and this side is a lot more droopy. When you edit yourself for seven, eight years, you see things that you usually would not see, you know? After editing myself for so long, all these years, I noticed that one of my nostrils is higher than the other and I'm just like this is just this is just not good for your mental health and self-esteem so I like I'm never gonna do that trend like I didn't want to hurt my own feelings but anyway off topic that's the reason why I've been loving this powder if you guys are like me have very very sparse brows maybe set your skin down with powder first and then apply I know some people like to apply their brows on their bare skin but personally for me that just looks extremely extremely patchy um, so I just been loving this powder and it's so affordable it's so effective so I've been loving it I've also been loving the Milani stay put eyeliner I have mine in the shade number one after dark which is just the black I've been mentioning this product a lot recently and for a really good reason it's from the drugstore and it's a really great eyeliner it's super creamy pigmented and it's so smooth in the waterline I would say it does transfer ever so slightly in my upper waterline but it's nothing that really bothers me so much and I think it being a drugstore eyeliner it is just so effective they have other shades as well 
I'm considering of getting the their red wine. It's really, really pretty. I think that would be really perfect for full time because I'm currently going into my fall. Even though I don't look like I'm going into my fall, I live in spring. My aesthetic lives in spring, spring and summer. Even though I don't like summer, I like winter, but anyway. This is a really great eyeliner and I've been really loving it. I've used so much of this because it's so creamy, you can go through this quite quickly. And my next favorite is from Too Faced. It's their Love Flush Blush. I have mine in the shade I Will Always Love You. And you guys, look how cute this packaging is. I won't lie, I did purchase this because of the packaging. You know me, anything pearls, anything heart shape, I'm just all for it, okay? Couldn't resist. I think it's just so adorable. But the formulation is stunning as well. This might have to be one of my favorite blush formulas. It is a satin finish, but it doesn't emphasize texture. It doesn't look too much. It really does give you the most beautiful glow. It literally looks like your skin and you're just glowing. This shade is my... <laughs> my shade i love this shade so much it's so so good i am wearing it today on my cheeks but i will wear this on my natural days where i have a lot less makeup on i'll actually take this on my eyes as eyeshadow as a one and done eyeshadow look apply that as a blush so i have a monochromatic look going on and it's just so pretty like i love this shade and this formulation so much my standard for a satin blush is this now it's just so so good and I think this product is getting discontinued or it's very very limited I got mine off Mecca and you still can get it online but in stores they don't have it and I also saw that Too Faced Korea actually has this like they consider it a new product I saw it on their Instagram I would say it's limited not discontinued because you technically still can purchase it from some website and actually Too Faced came out with a cushion foundation in Korea I don't know if it's going to be coming out in you know internationally I'm thinking of asking Harry's cousin to pick me up that cushion and I might get some more of these blushes because I love it so much I want all of them and this is just so cute like the packaging is pretty the shades are really pretty the formulation is beautiful like this is just my type of product so I'm considering of asking his cousin if she can get me some things from Too Faced and I can try out the cushion and do a review for you guys the cushion packaging is really pretty as well i'm not gonna lie that's why i kind of want it but i have been loving cushion foundation and there's not really much i can try considering that i am cruelty free so yeah i'm considering of doing that and i'll keep you guys updated so next up i have a couple of hair products that i want to share with you so recently i have been trying to take care of my hair a little bit more I did change back to Function of Beauty, which I will have a review on soon, an unsponsored review. But I've been taking little steps to take care of my hair. I've been noticing that my hair has been a lot more frizzy. As you can tell, my hair is super frizzy. And I've been losing a lot more hair as well. I would always lose a bit of hair. I think that's quite normal, but I don't know, in the past, I would say two months, three months, I've been noticing I've been losing a lot of hair. Not to a point where I have like bald patches, but it's like a lot of strands of hair is coming loose and I'm like, okay, I already have very sparse hair. I need to do something. So my friend actually got me this Aquas Prime Rapid Dry Hair Turban as a very, very late Christmas present. And this is exactly what I wanted. I wanted sort of like a hair towel that's better for my hair. And this I believe is quite expensive, but I really do think it's a good investment. What it is really is just a hair towel. And I really like the material of this. It's very soft. And the fact that it has this button, when you have your hair up in it, you can just not the button and it will stay in place usually i'll just use a hair towel and it's always slip and sliding so i really like this the quality of this is really great because even on the packaging it says wet hair is prone to damage how you dry it matters and my next hair favorite is actually this hair stick i got this from aliexpress it's super pretty it's this like opalescent pearl type of pattern um, but I've been using this to get my hair out of the way I noticed that when I do tie my hair up in a bun or a ponytail with just hair ties a lot of hair does come out and I've been using claw clips to get my hair out of the way but sometimes that can just give me a headache because it's like 
attached to my head so this is a really great way to get your hair out of your face I will put the TikTok that I did over here on the technique that I've been doing I got it off this other TikTok account I think it's called Minimalist Hair I'll leave them linked down below use a pencil anything really a chopstick whatever you want but this is just really pretty and I think it was like a dollar in New Zealand it's just a really nice way to tie your hair up without really pulling on your hair because you really are just wrapping your hair you're not tugging on the hair either that's another step that I've been doing to sort of I don't know keep my hair a little bit healthier so those were all of my makeup and beauty favorites I have one lifestyle favorite that I want to share with you and it is just this wax sealing set I got it from Aliexpress and I think it's so so worth it so what you get in the set I think it was about 30 New Zealand dollars in the set you get a whole box of different colored wax you can choose the different color story you want I went with this one I'll leave the link down below and the exact color I got but you get this whole set here which you can mix and match you obviously get this little thing with the candle they give you like four candles as well and then the little I don't know spoony thing that you put the wax in they also give you a pack of metallic envelopes and these envelopes are really high quality they're very stern and you get a wide range of colors and then they actually give you a metallic pen as well I think for all of this it's a really great value and it is really really nice this is so fun it's so therapeutic and aesthetic so this is one that I did a couple nights ago this is actually a letter I'm going to be sending out to one of you guys thank you to anyone that has sent me a letter in my PO box it really does make my day this is something that you would get in return a letter from me very monochromatic I know um, but this letter is actually from the set like the envelope it's very very sturdy and it's just so pretty I just think these wax stamps are so much fun you can use them in your journals as well you don't have to use them for envelopes but I think it's just a really nice touch and you can get a lot of customized stamps I feel like even if you don't like stationery or like you don't journal I think it's just a really fun Thing to have I don't know I really love it but speaking of my journal I didn't give you guys an update last month just because I only did one spread and in the past month I only did two spreads but thank you for keeping interest in my journal because I did get some comments saying where's the journal update and that makes me really happy because I feel like I don't know I'm just my channel is about makeup so I don't really know if you guys like hearing about lifestyle favorites but I know there's some of you guys that do so I do still share it but here is my first spread. It's for my youngest cat, Cookie. Um, I kept to a really blue theme. I have these two Polaroid pictures that I printed out. One when he was a baby and one when he's a little older. Uh, and then I kind of just wrote a letter to him like if he was to read it and the second spread I did is when I hit 100k I also printed out this Polaroid photo it came out really purple so I went for like a purpley thing and I kind of just wrote some thoughts out there and then right next to it I have another purple theme I thought you know overall purple you know me being monochromatic this is just from when I went to the lavender farm this one is not my favorite I feel like it looks a little odd but you know we're still figuring it out I think that's the whole beauty of journaling is just trying out different styles and just really a creative outlet really so yeah that is the last spread that I did not that much hopefully this month I will find more time to journal um, it's just been a little bit busy recently but yeah that is my journal update but with that being said let's hop into my fails section I have two products that I really did not enjoy in the past month and the first one is from the Lizzie McGuire collection with Colourpop it's the press powder blush in the shade delish and um, this blush just has a lot of glitter in it and I think the shade as well it looked really really ashy on my skin who would have thought I would put a Colourpop product in my fail section because you know me I love Colourpop products I feel like for the most part it's always just preference and what colors you like but this one I just feel like could not work on me if you are my skin tone or any darker I can just imagine it being super gray when I applied it it looked very ashy it just did not look good on the skin I think maybe if you're lighter you might like it I'm actually gonna pass it on to my friend and see if she likes it so I think maybe for a lighter skin tone it could work but nonetheless this blush is just extremely glittery like if we're gonna compare the Too Faced one and this satin formulation 
two different worlds really like this just has glitter in it and it just does not look good so I wouldn't recommend this one if you wanted to get a blush from this collection I would recommend the other one because um, that color is actually quite nice it's just really glittery and the other failed product I have is from IGK it's their first class charcoal detox dry shampoo so I just mentioned my little project of trying to help my hair out a little bit more trying to maintain the frizz the hair loss and i saw this tiktok uh, i'm talking about batiste how there's an ingredient in batiste's dry shampoo that makes your hair fall out you know and i've been using batiste for a very very long time so many years now but recently i've been only washing my hair twice a week and the all the other days i'm using batiste dry shampoo so i was like is that why i'm losing hair obviously hair loss can be due to a lot of reasons i think for me it might even be genetics because my dad um like has hair loss so i don't know but like when i saw that i'm like okay i want to just i just want to be cautious you know so i stopped using the teas and i put like a whole thing on my instagram i asked for your recommendations which i'll put all over here for you igk wasn't a recommendation but i remember jacqueline hill talking about this i just wanted to change my dry shampoo asap so i got this one this is so expensive guys like this really hurt me I was like am I really spending this much money on a dry shampoo it's 45 New Zealand dollars so probably maybe 25 30 US dollars really really expensive but I'm like you know I don't want to lose hair like I don't want to go bold so this is an investment I thought it like that first off the formulation on this is just it's not good it weighs down my hair a lot and I don't think it takes out the oil I do feel like it makes my hair feel clean but my hair doesn't look clean it looks really really oily and my hair looks extremely flat so they have three different versions of this so they have one that's a light medium and heavy this is the most intense one because I was like if I'm gonna spend $45 on a dry shampoo I want the most like intense one right like you want you know but the worst part of this is that I think I am allergic to something in here because as soon as I used this, maybe the second day I used it, I woke up and I suddenly had a lot of texture on my skin and the texture was around the perimeter of my face. It was also on my neck as well. Um, obviously, there could be a lot of reasons. I thought it was niacinamide that was breaking me out because every time I use something that has that ingredient, I get breakouts, but this was not breakouts. This was texture underneath my skin. It was a lot of little bumps and that really just triggered me because I used to have a lot of that when I had really bad acne so I thought is my Accutane wearing off do I have to go on Accutane for a third time like I was like panicked because it was like you could feel it like when I was washing my face like you could feel the bumps and it was just like like just from going to okay skin to having a lot of texture like it kind of like freaked me out so I was like okay I'm gonna stop using everything and I stopped using this and now my skin has calmed down a little bit the texture isn't there like I still feel it a little bit but it's not as like rigid as it was last week um, so I think I'm just allergic to this that's not going to be the case for everyone um, but I think the formulation itself is not good anyway like I'm back to using Patisse because I feel like I'm not ready to spend more money on dry shampoo right now so yeah I'm back to Batiste. And that you guys was my April favorites and fails. If you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate it so much. I would love to know some of your favorites and fails so we can all watch out for each other. But yeah guys, thank you so much for watching as always. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.